everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I have some really good tips and secrets to share with you guys. All of my top tips on how to look really stylish, cute, and put together while on a budget. I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I put together an outfit without breaking the bank. And it's great for when you're shopping or when you're putting outfits together. You guys are gonna love these tips. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you are new or if you've been watching for a while and you haven't subscribed yet. All you have to do is click that little red button down below and that way you'll get notified every time I make a new video. I make videos every week on beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and a whole bunch of other topics. So I will leave links for everything down below as well as a link for my vlog channel. If you haven't checked that out yet, you should do it. We vlog almost every day on travel and just our daily life and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with tip number one. Tip number one is to find some great basics and some great neutrals to keep in your wardrobe. Things that are staples that you can reach for day after day or week after week and you know you can create really cute, streamlined and put together outfits with those neutral pieces. So I like to do a lot of white. I'm a white girl. White t-shirts, white jeans, all of it. I love black brown, any kind of neutral color, even like some stripes in there, not a whole ton of pattern. So keep it really solid, keep it neutral, and adding those pieces into your wardrobe is gonna make your outfit look really stylish and put together without a lot of thought or effort. So you can throw that t-shirt on with a pair of blue jeans, some really cool heels, cool belt and jacket, and you have a really stylish outfit, but you didn't have to put a lot of thought into it. So stick to neutrals is tip number one. So tip number two, once you have those basics and you have those staple pieces in your wardrobe, it's really fun to start adding in those really trendy items or things that you just want to try out, maybe to add to like your personal style or make you look different and unique. And personally, I get really inspired by like high-end designers, but I don't always want to spend the money on something like that. Or maybe I don't think it's going to be trendy or in style for longer than a couple of months. So I love going to stores like Zara or Forever 21 or ASOS online and finding really cool, unique pieces. And you know, usually like under 50 bucks or under 30 bucks even. And they don't break the bank, but you get to try out that really cool style. What's coming to mind is like those slides, those flip flops with like the fur on top. I have them in black and I found them online for like 20 bucks. And it's not a style that I would spend hundreds on, but I thought it was something cool. So I found some online for like $25. And that way I feel like I got to participate in that trend. I feel really cool when I wear them, but I didn't break the bank. So I'm always checking out stores like that to find kind of like designer inspired or just really funky and fun pieces that I wouldn't want to spend a ton of money on. For tip number three, when you're out shopping and you find a piece that you love, try to think of three different ways or three different outfits that you could pair with that item to create three different looks out of it. For me personally, I like to have things that I can rewear over and over again. And people aren't going to necessarily know that maybe you've worn this t-shirt like three times this week already because you can pair it with a different sweater or a different jacket or shoes or belts or whatever. So I like to pick pieces that I can rewear a lot and that I can put a ton of different outfits together. So definitely keep that in mind. When you're out shopping, try to think of three different outfits for the piece that you're buying. And that doesn't always happen. Sometimes I go into a store and I just see something and I'm like, oh my God, I have to have it. And I have an example here to share with you guys. So this dress, I bought this dress like years ago and it's super cute, but it's like this long caftan and it's like all these bright colors and these beads and everything. And I paid a ton of money for this on eBay and like, it's a beautiful dress, but when realistically am I gonna wear this caftan, caftan in Michigan? I don't know. So it's definitely something that like I pictured myself like walking on the beach in this. And realistically, I'm gonna wear this once. I've worn it once when I first got it and I'll probably never wear it again. It's so pretty that I always wanna keep it and just like look at it, but like I'll never wear this again. I can't think of three different ways to wear this or three different occasions I could wear this to. Or everyone's gonna be like, there she is wearing that lily dress again, you know? So I like to pick some to most of the time, more pieces that are subdued and just a little bit more neutral. That way I can rewear them, make the most out of my wardrobe and my closet and my budget and my money and all of that. So definitely keep that in mind. But of course, if you find something that you love, sometimes you just have to splurge on it. Tip number four is to pick a theme or a color palette that really defines your personal style and you and stick with that color palette. So again, this is just gonna really help you put outfits together in the morning. So for me personally, my color palette is usually white. 
I love white, everything white jeans, white shirts, everything white. Um, black, like I have on today. Black is just a good neutral. Brown, I've always loved brown, like khaki colors and warm browns. I just think they look really pretty. And then for colors, I love blush pink. I'm just really into that lately. And I'm always drawn towards blue. So that's my color palette. I have some neutrals and some fun colors in there. And I try to buy most of my pieces and most of my items in that color range. That way I know I can create really cute outfits. A lot of these pieces will go together. I think that's probably like a theme you guys can tell with my tips as I like to buy things that will create like almost like a capsule wardrobe and just pieces that I know will go together instead of just buying random things that I can't put outfits together with because that's what I have the hardest time doing. So I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl so that's what I stick to in those neutral colors and then when I'm getting dressed in the morning I can make really cute outfits and focus on like my jewelry, my accessories, my makeup, and my hair. So yeah, that's tip number four. So tip number five, and I have said this in so many videos throughout the years, but I personally like to save money on my clothes. So I'll shop at Forever 21 all the time. But for my accessories, that's where I like to save up and splurge and I spend my money on accessories because for me, I feel like they're gonna stay in style and just stay on trend longer. So I love handbags, I love shoes, belts, but sunglasses are really something that I've always loved for years and years. And I feel like a really good pair of sunglasses can just elevate an outfit and make it look super edgy or girly or just cool. So, and it's just so simple. You don't even have to put much thought into it. So definitely I love splurging on sunglasses. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you probably know that I just love buying sunglasses. It's something I'm very happy to spend my money on. But I think what's so cool is that you do have this like mid range of sunglasses that are really popular right now, like Quay or Key or however you, however you say it. And just things kind of in that range. But I also always love a good Ray-Ban pair. I think they're in a good range of like $100. So. It's a splurge, but it's not gonna really absolutely break the bank. So I actually have a fun example to share with you guys. These are a pair of Ray-Bans that my dad gave to me years ago, and they were his for I think like 15 or 20 years before. And they look just the same as the Ray-Bans that you buy in store now. And so I think it really goes to show that spending more money on accessories that are timeless really do stand the test of time and they can be classic or edgy, you know, I feel like these are kind of edgy and I think they're just super cool. And they're men's sunglasses, but I love them. I feel like it really elevates any look. It makes you look super cool and put together. And these are 20 years old. So it really is worth it to me. And you can rewear these pieces for years and years and maybe even like pass them down to your kids or something like that. So splurge on your accessories. My next tip is to clean out your closet often. And this one is so important. So I'm always going through my closet. If there's something that is in really good condition, but I just don't feel like confident anymore, or I don't feel like it's super stylish, I'll sell it or I'll donate to Goodwill or to like a friend or family member. And if something is just like disgusting, I'll throw it away. Michael really needs to take this tip because he has like some disgusting things. He's like a hoarder. You guys don't know that about him. He's a hoarder. He keeps things for too long. And I'm always like, get rid of that disgusting shirt with the hole in it. But I'm sure you know what I mean. And some people are like that. They just keep things for like years and years, even if they're not wearing them. And for me, I like to have like my closet be like my space where I only have things that I love and that make me excited to get dressed in the morning. So keep that in mind, clean out your closet every couple of months and just only have things that you love. And I think it'll really help you when getting dressed in the morning because you'll be excited and be like, I wanna wear those jeans because they fit me really good, I feel really good in them. And you won't have to like search through all these jeans that you hate that are too tight and you can't even put them on. At least that's how it is for me, they're always too tight. So definitely get rid of things that you don't feel good and that you don't love anymore. You don't have to keep them. So make some money on it. That way you'll have more money for new clothes. Tip number seven is the most important tip, so I saved it for last, and that is to lint roll, especially if you have a dog like I do, and steam or iron your clothes. It makes an unbelievable difference. So, for example, say you see someone in this like plain white tee, and it could have been a $130 rag and bone white tee from Nordstrom, but it's all wrinkly, and it has her dog hair all over it, and it looks disgusting. And then you see some girl, and maybe it's a Forever 21 t-shirt, and it's all ironed, and it's perfectly pristine, and there's no lint or hair on it. You will not know the difference between that $130 shirt and that $10 shirt. So really, like taking care of your clothes is super important. So for me, I do those two tips, but also, 
a lot of times when you buy clothes from like Forever 21 or Target is a good example or Old Navy, they tend to shrink. So a really good tip is to not dry them. I'll wash them and everything, but then I'll just air dry them and that way they keep their shape and they don't shrink and you'll be able to keep them in really good condition for a lot longer. So just take care of your stuff, take pride in your stuff and wear it with confidence and no one will know that you have a $10 shirt on and there's nothing wrong with wearing a $10 shirt. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. I know they weren't necessarily like how to put outfits together, but I think if you put these tips, you know, towards your shopping habits or just towards your wardrobe and your closet in general, it'll be a lot easier to get ready in the morning and you'll feel a lot more confident and in turn, you will look a lot more stylish. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you want more style advice videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new or if you've been watching for a while and all my social media links in my blog channel will be down below. Thanks you guys for watching. Bye.